all of that stuff in terms of it being the new way of doing things it's that's you know if you ask anyone in the business on the ground it's advertising because advertisers are a limitless amount of money right there's always going to be products there's always going to be advertising budgets and they're always going to want a way to get to the consumer and consumers are consuming music now more than I think they actually ever had. They're just not paying for it. Because that's it's a bit so demolished. If advertising is the only way that an artist can not make the only money way. these ways. It's, just, it's a business model way. The, the thing is, the, the business model of doing it through merch and touring and stuff, that's an old business model. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. But the thing is, they're trying to figure out, what they're trying to figure out is how do we make money off recorded music, right? It's not actually a smart idea because making money off recorded music, it's not valuable. Right, I remember someone in LA, one of my um, record label guys, one of the guys who worked at the label. He he said it's not that it's not that music isn't worth money, it's that it doesn't have value. It's a different thing. People happen to not pay for music, which makes it not valuable. But the problem is that as you don't pay for it, you don't place emphasis on it. You don't attach yourself to it. There's no relationship to the music. There is for certain types of music in certain bands but for the general consumer like most people if you wanted to hear music you had to go to the store you had to buy it you had to hear it you, and, and once you did that you would put it on you would listen to the whole album and you would maybe do it two or three times and be like I don't get that song yet I'll give it another go no one has the time and patience for that anymore so the value of actual the actual value to the consumer is gone so if that value is gone how do you how does the money how, how does the music generate money that's what the labels want to figure out how do we generate money off music that's why the 360 deal is in place because the music is a soundtrack to the brand. It's not about the music. It's about the brand. That's why there's so many shitty artists out there making average fucking music, but they're selling out all the stuff because they look great and they're on the TV. The record label pumps all the money into it to get it onto the TV and the radio. The music's pretty much an afterthought. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be depressing or anything. In terms of that business I'm just model, thinking of all the musicians out there watching this thinking... I just want to write good music and play good music. And you can. You, know? you can totally write good music and play good music. And this is the thing. This is the way that I look at it. And another, um, an example that I'll give you. You know Ingo Swan, right? You've heard of Ingo Swan? No, tell me. Ingo Swan was a friend of Robert Knight's. He's the greatest psychic, arguably, who's ever lived. And like, like interdimensional ability to see things, right? And proven, studied you know, all that sort of stuff. Very strange guy, never had the opportunity to meet him. However, I have seen pictures of his artwork. I, no one knows he's an artist. Robert Knight, for example, is a very close friend of his, he's been to his house, and he says, look at this picture, and I said, oh, is that like a, like a three, one of those 3D things? And he was like, no, it's a painting that's been propped up in the corner with no light on it, and it is immaculate. It's the greatest piece of work I think I'd ever seen, and it was, it was, truly inspired and an ac absolute vision and something I could never even like one of those things that you look at like Dali or, or something where you look at it and you go I couldn't even conceive of that vision let alone produce it true art right and I'm like and he has hundreds of them in his basement just, just sitting around holding doors open and I'm like what is this and he said this is his art he, he, he gets these images he channels them like artists channel their art and he produces this work, and I'm like, this is the most, how, how does no one, there's no galleries, he's like, no. Why? Robert says to me, because he doesn't do it for them. He doesn't do it for anyone, he just does it to get it out. Because he's an artist, it's just what he is. He's not doing it to sell it, he's not doing it for val validation or vanity, he's not doing it for anything except I'm an artist and I have to create art, and, and once it's done, it's there, that's it, it's out, and I get on with my life. Because that's what a true artist is, they're compelled to create. If you want to be an artist, you you can you don't need anyone's help or validation. You don't need a record label. You don't need television. You don't need money. If you want to be a performer and a rock star and a professional musician, which is not an artist, they're two very different things. You can be a professional musician and totally not be an artist. You can be an artist and not be a professional, right? But if you want to be a professional artist living in the world, doing what we do, being out there in this mix of this particular business that we're talking about, these are the rules. This is how it works. And if you don't subscribe to it, the only one who's going to listen to your bitch is maybe your mum. No one's going to hear, no one gives a shit about like, oh, I don't want to, oh, I, mean, I hate musicians. They drive me nuts. They're like, they're so, <laughs> especially rock stars. I've met a bunch of them now. And, and they're just, the, the, and, and I love them. They're friends of mine. They're great. But I recognize the elements that are within myself that I'm like, 
it's so self-absorbed. I'm an artist and, and I have to be true. Come on. Then, go, then make that stuff and put it in your fucking basement. We're trying to be, we're trying to connect and communicate. That's the whole point of it. He put them in his basement because he doesn't give a shit about what anyone thinks. He doesn't want to connect with anyone. He doesn't care that much. Half of being an artist is about wanting to connect, wanting to share the emotion that you have and being like, I want to make you feel that thing that I felt through my music. That's why, that's, that's the being a performer, right? That's not really artistic. Impinging an emotion on someone else, that's not an act of art. That's an act of connection. That's a connectivity between two people. Art is the vessel, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's not really about that. So if, you're, if you recognize that that's what you're trying to do, and if you are trying to do that, why not try and do it well? Why not try to be very successful? Why not choose your battles and say, okay, advertising is a, is a very valuable part of this thing. Monetization is absolutely necessary. You've got to figure it out. So you've got to make a living somehow. You've got to make a living somehow. You've got to make a living somehow. And you should want to figure out a way to make a good amount of money off it because the more money you make, the better you feel about the, the better you feel about yourself, the more people you've obviously connected to because you made more money, so more people are figuring out that they want it, they're buying it, and you're connecting to people. That's what you want. That's not selling out. Selling out is when the only thing you want is the vanity, the money, and the look at me, I'm the shit. And I don't actually care what you think as long as you think I'm cool, right? So that's, there are different plateaus of, of, of doing it. But if you have an, having an understanding of the business and really, and it's almost like digging into your music is just as important as digging into, if there's an art to promotion, there's an art to publicity. There is an, there's an artistry to it. It's a very fine tuned, uh, craft because the whole point of it is how do I connect to a lot of people? How do I get an, a lot of people to share this experience? That's artistic enough for me. I think that's, that's, I get off on that every time I play a gig. They happen to be screaming at me going, oh, you're great, it's great, yeah. But I'm, I'm singing at them, they're singing at me and we're sharing this vibe. And I could be singing folk music. I could be singing whatever. I don't have to be singing rock and roll to do it. And I don't wanna just sing rock and roll to do it.